sibling rivalries, like all rivalries, stem over the competition to get as much as possible over the, you know, small amount of resources. Now, like all people, we are rational geniuses ready to resolve every dispute in the most rational way possible. This is no different than how we interact with our siblings. So today we're going to answer how to rationally bargain with our siblings. Video notes and demos will be in the description. So we're going to talk about a game I call Mother's Game. Mother loves her two children, brother and sister. Now she loves them so much that she's going to give them one thousand dollars that's right one thousand dollars can you imagine however they will have to decide how to split up the money amongst themselves now here's the here's the catch if they can't agree mother will start burning the money so the more that they bicker the more that they try to fight the more money that mother is going to burn that will be gone forever so let's talk about the very specific rules here Brother and sister will take turns proposing a split. If the other sibling does not agree, then mother will burn 10% of the cash. Sister goes first, and we start with $1,000 in cash. So to play this out, sister will have to propose a split first. If her brother does not agree to how she wants to split up the $1,000, then mother will burn $100 and leave us with $900 left. Brother then has a shot to determine how much he wants to split up the $900. And if sister doesn't agree with what brother wants to split, then mother will burn $90, 10%, and we're going to have $810. Then sister will then be able to offer another split to brother, continues, until we reach a compromise or all the cash is burnt. So we want to be able to rationally resolve this. So what is the rational way to play out this game? Now, a lot of people, when I ask them, like, how would you play out this game? Or how do you think a rational person would solve this game? They thought brother and sister, they kind of have to realize that, like, bickering and fighting, you know, that's not good. They should just split the cash in half, 50-50, $500, $500. That's what most people think is the rational solution. So, what is the rational solution? Sister asks for $526.31, and brother accepts the remaining $473.69. This may be confusing, like, what? How do we get those numbers? So to understand the solution, we have to understand how to analyze the game. So analysis, we can derive the solution from understanding the following consequences. Let's look at the active sibling logic. I must get more for myself than my sibling will give me after some amount of money is destroyed. The passive sibling logic. I must get more from my sibling than I will ask after some money is destroyed. Additionally, we have to understand that both siblings are equally rational agents. Brother and sister should make the same decisions when facing the same consequences. So... To understand Mother's Game, we are going to be looking at our demo right here. So on the x-axis, we have mapped out Sister's Proposal, and on the y-axis, we've mapped out Brother's Proposal. This is how much money they will propose on their turn. So what we need to remember is that some amount of money will be burnt. And then so in our example, only 10% is burnt, so it leaves 90% left. This is the remaining money after a round. We also have a set of constraints for making these decisions. We know that sister must ask more for herself than brother will give her after some of the money is destroyed. So sister's going to ask for X percent of the money and brother is going to leave her R. R is how much money is left after mother destroys some. And then her brother is going to take Y, leaving her with one minus Y. So this is the... The blue area is kind of the area where sister will take the deal. But then we also have the area where brother will take the deal. Sister must give more to brother than brother will ask for himself. So 1 minus x is what sister gives to brother. Brother will ask for himself r times y, the remaining money, times what he is asking for. And this is the solution that must get brother 
which you can see it. Now we observe right here is that there is an intersection between red and blue. This is where both people will agree to the split. So as rational agents, we need to remember that they must behave identically in the same situation. But if you think about it, both scenarios, when they're proposing a split, it's the literal same scenario. If the other sibling doesn't agree, then 10% of the cash is burnt. So in both scenarios, they're left with the same choice. So acting as rational agents, their behavior must be identical, which means that it follows this X line right here. So X is where the behaviors are identical. So we have to look for what is the maximum value that you could ask for where the behavior is identical and it maximizes sister's money. So the solution right here is 1 plus, the solution right here is 1 divided by 1 plus the remaining share of money. So 90% of the money is remaining. So that leaves us with the sister's take, $526.31. And brother's take, which is $473.69. Now, while we talk about money literally being burned, we have to understand in the real world, you know, there's other things that you know might occur that aren't literally burning money, such as time discounting. There's various different applications. We have things like interest and also just I want things now that kind of determine our time discount. So it kind of makes the sense that money now is worth more money later. So the amount of money being burned is in many ways a euphemism for understanding the idea of not agreeing with how things are currently being argued and then having to wait before you could try to propose a counter offer so it is a understanding of how much are we willing to continue and drag on bargaining so that we can get a better deal if we do get a better deal in the future what will still happen though is that we still have to wait longer bargaining is influenced by who has the upper hand at the moment, how long will it take for you to get a chance to propose a better deal, and what is the benefit of just taking it now as opposed to dragging it on. This involves time discounting. But also in the real world, we need to remember that people discount time differently. So we need to encompass all the different levels of need and psychological preference. So we can organize the problem using this new set of equations right here. R1 represents your discount rate, and R2 represents the other person's discount rate. V is a function that tells us the rational proposed split, if you are the one bargaining. How we derive this is we take 1 minus V, so what you give your opponent should be equal to how much they lose by dragging it on, the share that they lose the amount that's discounted times what they will ask for. That is the optimal thing to give somebody. And so by solving this, we can get our equation. So in this case, where we have minor amounts of discounting, both about 1% and 2%, respectfully, the person that discounts more, the person with 0 0.98, has a bigger disadvantage, even when they are proposing or when they are not proposing. So it appears right here that the more important thing, if you're in a bargaining situation, is to be the least neediest, to have the lowest amount of discount rate, because that means that you're willing to bargain on longer, which will make it so that people have to give you more. So let's review how to win this game in real life, or just how to bargain better in real life. Don't be desperate. Have a low time discounting rate. Be mother's first choice. You got to make the first move. The bargainer, having the upper hand, being able to bargain and make the deal gives you the advantage. The first move advantage is awesome because if people reject your offer, then they have to wait time and come back with a counter offer. So because of time discounting, you can exploit that to make it so that people will just take a deal which benefits the proposer. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.